Hey, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to read digital x-rays on your Mac. Dr. Nathan Cashin of Exploring Chiropractic here. Every now and then there's a discussion in the Facebook groups or online forums where someone starts talking about using a Mac in chiropractic practice. And there's lots of recommendations of getting you know, the newest and the greatest uh, computers or laptops or iPads, but invariably at some point someone will say, yeah, Macs are great, but you're going to have to keep a PC around to open x-rays, any digital imaging that you might get from a imaging center. This is something that kind of confuses me and also just annoys me because I cannot suffer the injustice of anyone thinking that a Macintosh is in any way inferior to a PC. The fact is you can open DICOM images, all of those images, whether x-ray, MRI, CAT scans that come from an imaging center on a Mac and it's free. So I'm gonna show you how to do that, all right? To do so, I have a image, a disc of images. This happens to be an MRI that my dad got and shared with me, so no patient information uh, being shared here. But all I have to do is take that image from an imaging center, right, medical radiologist, and if I were to open this up on a PC, there's an auto-run application that's Windows only, but I'm not gonna use it, right? I'm going to use, Mac software to open the images on this file. So let's pop in the disk. You do have to have a disk drive, so you can grab a super drive like this or a third party um, brand DVD, CD, ROM, reader, writer. Uh, I'm going to pop it into my computer. It'll pop up like any regular disk, and you'll see the auto run, the EXE, which is a Windows executable that will not run on a Mac, but the thing is you don't want to use their software. You want to use the same software every time and go ask Jeff Langmaid at Evidence Based Chiropractor. He has a great video that I'll post in the comments below on why you should be using the same software every time. But if we just go through the file folders here, you'll see some empty folders, um, you'll see results, you'll see some text to read me. But what we're looking for is a folder that has DICOM images. And these are not gonna be readable just by the computer, but once we go in to a DICOM viewer, then we'll be able to open these images. So what is a DICOM viewer? Well, DICOM's Digital Imaging Communications in Medicine, and this is the standard for any type of medical imaging, whether it's plain film x-ray, whether it's MRI, CAT scan, ultrasound. And there are a number of DICOM viewers for the Mac, the most widely no one known is probably Osirix. This is a very powerful and probably the, the most popular DICOM viewer for Mac. It is made for medical radiologists. Uh, it is a little bit expensive for the day-to-day -day practice of a chiropractor, but there is a, a free version that you can download and that's probably gonna be as much as you need. There's also a well-known uh, app called the Horos Product Project, and this is free to download. However, uh, they are asking for donations, and they do push that pretty hard, so you can say, yeah, I've donated, or no, I don't want to donate, and then you do have to give your email address, and then you can download that. And then my preferred one currently is one called Miel LXIV. The secret here is that these are all, in essence, the same application. They're built on open source code, meaning it's code that anybody can download and is free to use, except they add on some features and functionality on top of it. The reason I choose Miel for myself is because this one is available in the Mac App Store, so if I get a new computer, I can just go to my purchases and download it automatically but I probably would recommend Horus or Osirix. Um, Osirix has an iPad version, uh, also 
has some great uh, a PAX system that you can subscribe to so you can store these images on the cloud. Probably again, as a chiropractor, uh, seeing patients and just reading their images, you probably don't need that unless you want to store all of your patients' images on the cloud. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use Miel. So I'm gonna open it up here. And you'll see that I have a previous image, another MRI from my dad from uh, almost 10 years ago. But what I want to do is I've already put the CD or the DVD into the drive and I just want to import. And then I'm going to choose that disc. It's automatically go going to open it up. Um, I'm just going to say open and see what happens. I want to go ahead and copy the files into the database. And we're just going to give it a minute to ingest these files. And there we go. It's pulled in uh, the images from this disk and you can see they're starting to populate one by one. So it does take just a little bit to download all of the files from this disk. All right, and there we have it. It's imported into my database. You can see the different files here. You can also get some previews. So I'm just going to open one up so you get an idea of what you can see. You can scan through it, the different levels. It's going to rotate through all the images. And you can click and drag to adjust the contrast if you want to adjust uh, how you see it. And I'm not going to go through the whole process of viewing this because, again, Jeff Langman at the Evidence-Based uh, Evidence Chiropractor has a great video tutorial where he goes through the four key elements of imaging that you want to have and that you want to nail down as you're reviewing images. Uh, but I do want to point out that from here, there are a number of different things I can do. Let's say I want to send this study off to a DAC bar to get an expert read. I can simply export this to wherever I want to save it, just in a folder on my desktop, and then uh, whether it's sending it to Matt Skalski via Google Drive or even emailing it, if that's something you're comfortable with, you can just send those files off. You could almost also burn them to your own disk if you want your patients to have a copy. Um, and that's about it. Um, really simple to open imaging files on a Mac. You don't need to use the built-in software on the CD. You don't need to keep a Windows PC in your office just for reading radiology files.